Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we could do a little bit of retail therapy. I wanted to have a little browse around the Priceline website, see what's new. I feel like I have been using the same things over and over again, which is good. I've been wanting to utilize my collection more, but I'm feeling the need for some new things, some new makeup, some new experiences. <laughs> All right, well, let's jump onto the Priceline website, have a little browse and discuss what I see here. By the way, if you like this makeup look, I did do a tutorial using drugstore products under $15. So I'll have that link down below if you want to go and watch. All right, so I'm just on the home page here. I'm going to go to the new arrivals section and let's have a little browse. Covergirl has these eyeshadow quads. I feel like quads are the new thing that brands are starting to do. ELF has their huge range of little bite-sized eyeshadows, which were really popular. I saw that ColourPop recently brought out, I think they're five pans. And now CoverGirl has got the four. Let's check out the shades. So we've got Sunshine Escape, which has a few neutrals. Desert Glamping. Mm-hmm. Trun... True Naked. <laughs> Trunaked. <laughs> Jet Setter, not a fan of that one, it's just grey. And then Midsummer Night Mayhem. Oh, they're all called True Naked, okay. <laughs> wow. I do like the first two, Sunshine Escape and Desert Glamping. I wonder though if they're all shimmers. It just says four richly pigmented eyeshadow colours for one complete look. It doesn't say what they are. Interesting. I'll probably have to look at them in store and see what the deal is. I have seen so many people talk about this Dose & Co collagen powder. Have you guys used a collagen powder before? I do have one. I can't remember what the brand is and I use it occasionally, but I feel like it's something I need to use more regularly to actually start seeing results. If you guys have a review on the Dose & Co, let me know. There are no reviews on the Priceline website. Okay, now Essence has released so much new stuff. First of all, we've got some mascaras. I feel like Essence is known for their mascaras, so I have no doubt that these would both be absolutely amazing. And then they have this Hello Good Stuff range. I noticed there was a few different things. Yeah, down here. So we've got a primer, a serum and a tinted beauty cream to go along with the mascara. Let's look at the tinted beauty cream. It's only $8.50, 30 mils. Okay, so you've got light and medium. So it says that it's softly tinted. It's a nourishing day cream. Makes slight skin irregularities disappear and is easy to blend. So it sounds like it's a very lightweight formula. The light shade looks pretty fair. Let me just add that to my cart because everything I'm interested in, I like to add it to my cart and then review it at the end. Now, I actually was checking out this Pretty Natural foundation in store the other day and it looks like it could actually be pretty good. So let's have a read of it. So it says that it's a long lasting formula with hyaluronic acid. So it provides moisture for 24 hours, leaves a naturally matte finish, medium coverage, makes redness disappear. That sounds really good. It's only $10, but the problem is here, there are only eight shades available at Priceline. Whereas I Googled this to see if there was a fairer shade and there are so many in the range. Like I am shook that Essence would release a foundation with this many shades. Let's quickly Google it. So if we go onto the Essence website, it says here it's available in 36 shades. 36 shades from Essence. How good is that? Look at that. Wow. Let's have a look. I wonder if there's another way to get Essence here in Australia or if it's only Priceline. So the lightest one Priceline carries is 50 neutral champagne. If my internet would work and load the picture, that would be lovely. So this is the skin tone of neutral champagne. I would definitely be lighter. Let's look at the fairest shade, cool porcelain. She even got red hair. 
I would be really keen to try that if I could get a lighter shade. They've got a brow powder. Oh my God, this product here. I actually purchased it the other day. This is the Tiny Tip Precise Brow Pen. If you've been following my channel for a while, you would know I am obsessed with the Emco Beauty Feathering Brow Pen. It's a tiny little brush tip. You can draw strokes in your eyebrows. It just makes them look so much more naturally hairy, which is an area that I struggle in because my brows are like, I got nothing. So I did use this today. Oh, let me give you a little look. See how it just looks hairy? Like, look at the end here. Come on, come on. This was only $5, as you can see. The problem is it only has two shades, medium brown and dark brown. I did pick up medium brown. As you can see, like, it does work, but I would like to try a lighter shade. Let's actually look on the Wessence, the Wessence, <laughs> the Essence website and see if they have a different shade. Yep, yeah, look at that. There's a lighter shade. Why does Priceline do this? It's the shade Blonde. That would be so perfect for me. Hmm, all right, I need to figure, I need to find out where else I can get Essence, hey? <laughs> I see that the Quick Flick has released these reusable cotton pads. I wish there were some more images of this. I actually picked up the Garnier ones recently. Let me see if I can find them on here. I like to use cotton pads for applying my liquid exfoliant. So I use a BHA from Paula's Choice and I usually use the disposable pads for that, but I thought that was a waste. So I saw these ones at Priceline the other day and picked them up. They're actually on sale at the moment, $8.49, that's pretty good, and you get three reusable pads. They are super, super soft. I was a bit worried that I wouldn't get as much product applied to my skin, but they work really, really well. I haven't actually tried them for removing my makeup yet because I don't remove my makeup like that. But if you are looking for something that's reusable, I definitely recommend these. I'd be interested to see a review on the Quick Flick ones too. Let's see how many you get in there. So the Quick Flick ones are $30 and you get six in the pack. So, meh. No reviews on it yet. All right, let's actually go into makeup specifically and organize it by newest first. All right, we've got some Eco Tools sponges. Now, I do have a few of the Eco Tools blending sponges, and they're good. But they're, they're still a bit hard, but they're all right. These ones actually say they are biodegradable. That's interesting. Oh, I might have to give one of those a try when they go on sale. I really don't like buying anything full price at Priceline because I feel like there is always a sale eventually. So just wait. <laughs> These Eco Tools brushes sound interesting. They are interchangeable. Connect your brush heads to your handle with Ease Snap On technology. So you get a brush handle and the brush head. Okay, so do all of them come with a handle? Because I feel like that's a waste. If they're meant to be interchangeable, wouldn't you just want to buy the brush head to go with the handle you already have? Okay, so here you can just buy the handles for $8.99 and then rounded cheek brush, flawless buffer brush head. So there are a few brush heads without the handle, but then these ones come with the handle. Okay, the eyeshadow pack looks good. You literally get one handle and a few different brush heads. $40. I probably wouldn't get much use out of something like that, but it's a cool idea. These actually sound really interesting by Ilua. They are a lash adhesive, but in a pen. So you just draw on the glue. That sounds so easy. I feel like I've seen a lot of people talking about this Revlon Photo Ready Rose Glow Primer. It says it's hydrating and illuminating. It's water-based. I do prefer to use a hydrating or glowy primer as opposed to a hydrating and glowy foundation because I feel like I don't get as much longevity from hydrating and glowy foundations. So using a primer underneath, I still get that nice hydrated fresh look, but with my long lasting foundation. Ooh, okay, I see Revolution has a bushy brow pen. I wonder what that's like. Only $10, Revolution is really affordable. Like I thought when they were gonna come to Australia, their prices would be hiked right up, but they've stayed pretty low. Okay, so we've got three shades, ash brown, medium brown, and dark brown. I can't 
can't really tell what that tip is like. It's not like a pointed tip, but it does look quite thin there. It says it has a precise, flexible brush tip that allows for fine detailing. I think this one might be alright because it'll be like a, a brush. So I have a feeling the tip is something like this. So you can still draw in those fine strokes. Oh, I think I might add that to my heart. Give it a go, shall I? I feel like a lot of brands do already have those brow pens, but they have the three prongs on them and they're just not the same. I'm not a fan of those. Something else I'm really interested in by Revolution is this soap styler. This looks a lot like the Patrick Tarr one. Look at that. Come on. This brush is quite interesting though. Looks like a little toothbrush. <laughs> $12, that's pretty affordable. Five grams, that'll last you a while. I literally just went out and bought a bar of soap though. I've got a little soap holder here that I got from Kmart and I brought this soap for like $3 at Chemist Warehouse and it's doing the trick just fine. If you did want something that's a bit more aesthetically pleasing though, this looks very interesting. Again, no damn reviews. Come on people, where are the reviews? Okay, this Skin Paradise by L'Oreal is something that I have been eyeing on and off for a while, but I'm just not sure if the lighter shade of Fair Zero 2 is going to be fair enough. It looks really fair. But when I've looked up swatches online, it's like they're a lot deeper. I just, I would like to find a nice BB cream or something very lightweight, but I find they're not always very long lasting. So I'm a little, I really want to try it. Oh, but is it worth it? Oh, 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 like going back and forth. By the looks of it, this has a lot of good ingredients for your skin, very hydrating. I just, I don't know. And like it's on sale. I would never pay $27 for it. If you've tried this, please leave me a comment down below with your review. It does have one review. Let's read it. Skin perfect, this makeup. That wasn't helpful. <laughs> okay, this CoverGirl powder I have been loving. Absolutely loving. The only problem is... Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Wait a damn minute. You know that TikTok? <laughs> I was about to say... That Priceline doesn't stock the fair shades because originally they only had two shades. But look at this. They've got fair, which is the shade that I use. I originally had to pick this up from Chemist Warehouse, which like isn't a big deal. But they've got all the shades and it's on sale. Let me add one of those to my cart. This is a really beautiful powder. It literally blurs the skin like absolutely amazing and I see that it also comes in a translucent interesting I would really like to try the matching concealer but I'm just not sure about the shade hey fair light it looks pretty orange oh so they actually have a 310 porcelain and then 320 fair whereas Priceline only has fair light Oh, which is this one here, 330. Yeah, that'll probably be way too deep, especially if there are two others in front of that. Why? Why don't we get every shade? Now this NYX Sweet Cheek Soft Cheek Tint sounds good. A cream blush that provides a natural finish with a lightweight second skin feel. Comes with a doe foot applicator, okay. I'm loving the look of this nude tood and also baby doll. Oh, let's see. Do you think there's any reviews? No. <laughs> let's actually look some up. I like to go on to Ulta and look at reviews there because I feel like Ulta is such a big website in the US and heaps of people actually review the product. It's only $9 in the US. What a bargain. I don't even think it's on sale for that much. No, it's on sale for $14. <laughs> look at all the extra information that is on this website. How handy is that? Pretty good reviews overall, very pigmented. I do like to read the, like the bad reviews. <laughs> okay, so this review says that the formula is pretty matte and dries quickly, therefore they found it tricky to blend in. The product was easily blendable, but honestly, I felt like I had to apply a lot more product to build up the color. 
to what I like. Okay, let's read the good reviews. This person was losting after the rare beauty cream blushes, but couldn't come to grips with the price tag, so picked this one up. Nude Tude Baby Doll. Okay, I think Baby Doll will be more my shade. The Nude Tude is nice, but it might be a little too nude for me because I do really like a pigmented blush. So let's add that. <laughs> I feel like the drugstore has really stepped up their game when it comes to liquid and cream blushes. I'm hoping next they start dipping into liquid and cream bronzers. That would be a real treat. Okay, let's wrap things up by looking at Milani. Quite a new brand to come to Priceline, but I feel as though I haven't heard much. And when I first looked, the range wasn't that big. So let's have a look now. We've got a mascara. I feel like the prices are pretty up there as well. Now I have tried this Conceal and Perfect foundation a few years ago. I brought it, I don't know, somehow I got it here, but I did not like it. I remember it was really full coverage, but it was like too thick and heavy. I have also tried this Strobe Light Insta Glow powder in the past and I found it to be a little bit dry. The Conceal and Perfect Shine Proof Powder. Now this looks interesting to me. So we've got four shades, Fair 01, but you see it's $27. When I can get the CoverGirl powder cheaper and also the Rimmel Stay Matte powder for a lot cheaper. I don't know, I don't know. Have you guys tried any Milani products that you're really, really loving? We've got some eyeliners a brow pen, all pretty basic products that don't really scream out to me. These palettes here are just, there's too much going on. This one actually looks nice, but look at the price, $48. This is a really nice color story though. <laughs> Loving these shades and that pop of a dark green. I'm getting like subculture vibes. And then Milani also has their versions of the more condensed palettes. This neutral one actually looks really pretty. $20. See, that's reasonably priced. Are they all mattes? They all look like mattes too. These shades, okay, these shades are beautiful. Okay, I did pick up the Milani Cheek Kiss, oh, <laughs> Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush. I actually really like this one. The formula is really nice, but the shade I got is just a bit deep. It still kind of works, but I would prefer to try another shade. But if you are looking for a liquid blush from the drugstore, then that is a pretty good one. We've got more blushes. Their baked blushes are an absolute classic. I've had my Luminoso baked blush from Milani for probably way too long, but it still works. It's still beautiful. They leave a really nice glow to the skin and they're only $20. Like $20 I think is a reasonable price. That I think is something you should pick up from Milani if you really wanted to try something. This bronzer looks quite nice as well, but is the shade too deep? What have we got? Soleil and Dolce. Mm, lots of gold in it. So I'm not sure if that would be like too shimmery. You know what I mean? I would like to see those palettes in the gold packaging. There's a cool toned one that I know Anna Elaine used to use a lot. I know none of those products really like stand out to me that much. Cool, all right, well, that is all. Let me have a quick look in my cart, what I got in there. All right, so in my cart, I've got the Milani palette, the NYX liquid blush, another CoverGirl powder. I might actually check my backups. I think I have another backup already, but we'll see, we'll see. The Revolution Bushy Brow Pen, excited for that. Rimmel Lasting Finish Lip Liner. The Incredible Bounce Blush. I'm not sure about that. I think I might wait to hear some reviews before I look into that, and especially because I'm getting the NYX one. I don't really need another one. The Liquid Adhesive Liners. The Essence Tinted Beauty Cream and a perfume, which is for a gift. $200, bloody hell. That adds up fast, doesn't it? 
All right, well, my battery is dying, so I have to go. If you enjoyed watching, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. I will definitely do a haul on my channel with the products that I do end up buying, so stay tuned for that. I would love to hear your thoughts on any of the products that I looked at today and your reviews you have. Make sure you let me know down below in the comments. Also, come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. They will be linked in the description box down below. That is all. I hope you're having a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.